Hello guys, Shubhamia back again. It's been a while we have been reviewing very different Android 13 ROMs on our channel. Every ROM holds some different features regarding customizations and performance, but this ROM is something different as this ROM has some really good gaming performance features and it really has some really good performance too. So this is the Nusantara OS official build from the community itself running on Android 13 for POCO F1. So without any further ado, let's get into it and see what it holds for us. So at the very first time, let's move towards the system information. So navigating to the settings, at the upfront you will see that they have mentioned the about phone section where everything you will get at one place. You can see that this is the latest version of the Nusantara OS running on the latest build date and some other features such as the developer, chipset information and some other things such as the build number. That's something good that they have arranged in such UI in small small cubes which looks really appealing and good. And Android 13 is direct to be obvious. That's all about the system information and some other generic settings which you get in Android 13, everything you will get in the about system settings. So now let's talk about the Nusantra customizations and some other Android 13 specific features. They included something called as Nusantra wings where you will get all the customizations upholded in this section. Can you see this UI? Exactly. I am really a big fan of such UI because they really try to include everything at one place where you don't have to do some hustle bustle to find any type of customization. Just click on any of your favorite panel and you will get all the customization at one place without any issues. So talking about some customizations, so they have included all the things you actually need and you can make your device look appealing as per your preferences. Miscellaneous game space and all the other things they have included in really beautiful manner and that's something good. Talking about game space, we will talk about it later in the gaming section. Talking about the lock screen settings, then they have included all the other things in lock screen items, the type of battery icon and everything else you can ever expect. Fingerprint preferences option doesn't work as of now, they might fix in the future build, but as of now it won't work. Going further, there are some other options such as battery options that how you want battery style and all the other things. Like in my case I have kept right now as the field circle and you can see that it's getting appeared on the battery options setting. Moving further, you will get all the other options such as clock options where to align your clock at top, center, left or right. Icon manager where you can just include what all icons your status bar must reflect when you do any or perform any type of action. So all that things they have maintained really really good. Some quick settings where you can customize the quick settings panel, its transparency and all the other stuffs. To be honest, I am not a big fan of doing some huge customizations but yes, those who really want to customize your POCO F1 on Android 13, this is something really good. Traffic indicators and all such other settings work really really good. I really appreciate the team because they have included such kind of customization in such concealed way in just one UI and that looks really beautiful. Talking about Android 13 specific features then. They are using this default launcher. This is not a pixel launcher, but they are using this launcher where you can have some customizations regarding icons, some home screen customizations and all the other stuffs at one place as per your style. I tried deemed icon, but deemed icon doesn't work as of now. They might fix it in future builds. Talking about the widgets and other things, it works pretty much fine. Talking about the app drawer, some miscellaneous settings, then also everything works cool. Now let's navigate to the widgets and you will get all the other widgets you are getting right from Android 12 build. One of the famous widget is that that is the clock one, which you can just set whichever clock you want and customize the way you want. I have already kept the clock widget, this is something called as a stopwatch widget. So yeah, that works really much fine, it doesn't crashes or it doesn't give any type of issues with it. 
So that's something good about customization. Now let's talk about the real business that in gaming performance. So in terms of gaming performance in Nusantra Wings, at the upfront you will get something called as game space. You guys have known that game space is nothing where, but where you can add the games you want and also set the type of preferences you want. In my case I have already added BGMI. If you move towards the setting I have set it to the performance mode and also have enabled angle which can enhance your gameplay. So let's see how BGMI works on this ROM and here we go. So I have played about 2 to 3 gameplays of BGMI. This is the deathmatch but I have also played some main gameplays and it really really works fine. You will get all these options from the game space panel where you can control all the things you want right from game recording, taking screenshot and also you can counter your FPS to see how well your game is performing. You can really rely on this ROM for gaming if you want some really good ROM in gaming performance. Now let's talk about the battery performance of this ROM. So talking about the battery performance then you will get a decent amount of battery life. If you are a person who use social media applications some 2 to 3 gameplays then once you charge to 100% it will leave you to about 10 to 20% at end of the day. In my opinion this battery life is kind of decent and it's good and even an average one. I won't say that it's an excellent but yes in terms of battery it's pretty much decent. Now let's jump to the CTS or also called as the safety net check bypass. So this is the application as everyone knows clicking on the run test then yes you will get safety net check bypass out of the box. Right from Android 12 this is something a new normal that you will get CTS bypass out of the box until and unless it's not a lineage as a source. You can use all finance applications without any issues and you will enjoy the feature and you will get all the services works pretty much well. Now let's snap some picture chat that is Gcam compatibility. So let me tell you guys this ROM doesn't have any stock ROM installed in it. That's kind of sad that they haven't included any of it. But never mind as everyone knows what we do. Yes you guessed it right. We usually install the Gcam which is the latest one for our POCO F1 and it works pretty much smooth and stable. So this is the Gcam which I have installed of version 8.5 and every functions and every features in this camera works really really well. So this is the installable APK which you can install on your POCO F1 on Android 13 ROM and it works pretty much fine without any issues. Talking about the video recording then you will get 4K 60fps video recording and also HDR support in it. You can also customize some other settings as per your preferences and you will get a really good and decent amount of footages in terms of video recording in 4K. This is something good thanks to the powerful chipset which is present in the POCO F1 that you can actually get 4K recording in this. In terms of photography too you will get all the features such as optical 2x zoom and 1x zoom and you will be pretty much satisfied with the photographs and videos of it. So in terms of photography too, this ROM will satisfy all you need and that's really really good and that's really good in photography section. Now let's talk about the security and direct sound in answer on this ROM. So talking about the security then in security section and screen lock you will get a pattern screen lock and also in terms of biometric then you will get just a fingerprint unlock. That's something sad that they haven't included any type of face unlock still. That's pretty obvious that till now none of the Android 13 ROM has got face unlock installed in it. Talking about some other features then you will get all the security features which is expected in Android 13. Moving to the sounds and vibration settings scroll down below and you will get direct sound in answer which you usually get in all the ROMs right from Android 11. So T-Rack or Mi Sound Enhancer works pretty much fine. You can enhance your sound of your movie or music as per your preferences by setting all these things such as the headphone style and the type of preset you want.
Now let's talk about some numbers that is Antutu scores. So the Antutu scores on this ROM is pretty much decent and nice. So this is the our Antutu scores application and it somehow ranks in 323,000. So this score is pretty much satisfying and pretty much decent. I don't rely much on numbers but yes who, who want to see the Antutu scores for them this is what it stands out. So yeah in terms of Antutu benchmark scores too this ROM is pretty much good and it also gives us a hint that it's a kind of reliable if you want to use as a daily usage too. Now let's jump to the conclusion and my final words. So let me tell you guys this ROM is pretty much good in terms of performance and gaming. It doesn't lag, it doesn't stutter or doesn't even give some random reboot type of issues. The source of this ROM is purely AOSP and it works really really good. You can surely rely on this ROM for everyday usage and especially for gamers this ROM will satisfy all your needs you ever want. So in my opinion this ROM stands at about a score of 9 out of 10. This can also vary as per user to user as everyone has their own needs. So that's it for this video guys if you like this video must hit that like button and also subscribe this channel for more such updates upcoming. Until then see you again in the next time with some another amazing ROM. Till then peace out.